Welcome to the start of 2024 bank video for Mr. Ironbar, aka the Endgame Iron Man. For those of you guys that have never seen the progress on this account on my YouTube channel here. But yeah, we're going to cover the bank and we're going to focus a lot on the newer stuff that I got this year, such as the Desert Treasure 2 stuff. But we're going to cover pretty much everything though still. And some other things too, like uh, collection lock stuff, because I've been working on that a bit more seriously now and pets and all that stuff so yeah let's get right into it we are going to the main tab right here so the tabs themselves hasn't really changed but the first section is basically the most used equipment section we got our graceful here we got our uh, best in slot helmets a uh, good old zuck helm uh, we have the tanzling helm we also actually have the magma meter chance you can see over here but yeah anyways we got spirit shields we actually have all of them here so that was nice um yeah, we got uh, some other stuff here. Virtus, this is new. This is from Desert Treasure 2 bosses. So we completed that while we were going for, I believe, the Soul Reaper Axe and Chris Armor, Full Missouri. I guess that was maybe slightly a year ago now. But yeah, Full Missouri. Uh, we got the Ancestral. We got the Torva, except this time it is kitted with the Sanguine uh, kits from the Awakened versions of the Desert Treasure 2 bosses. We did all of that. Uh, we still have the Inquisitors, of course. Haven't really been able to use it too much. Jewelry stuff, uh, pretty much all the same. We did finally kit up the Occult Necklace. It was not kitted for the longest time. It took me, like, I want to say 400 Masters to get it. So, yeah, we finally have all these Xenite Jewelries kitted. As you can see, Torture, Occult, Zen Knights. I mean, Anguish and uh, the Torrent Bracelet. So that's really nice. Blood Fury here. Uh, some next stuff, Zarya Vambrises. And down here, the weapons hasn't changed too much, except the blowpipe here. We got the League's 4 cosmetic first, so it's really nice. Even the special attack is a little different here. Uh, but yeah, for other weapons here, we got the Nightmare Staffs. Both Eldritch and Volatile. The Eldritch is especially useful lately because of the shadow. They go great together because of the prayer increase spec. But yeah, still no harm or, but of course, pretty useless item at the moment. So we'll wait for when there's some new content that the harm is good and then we'll try again but yeah we got zara crossbow full crystal basically venator bow from muspa yeah this is a really nice bow for multi combat slayer especially i use this a lot for that and also just to afk for clue scrolls like medium and hard you've seen that in a recent video trying hunter crossbow uh osmontons fan kid of course trying hunter lance void waker yes this is definitely a recent here really useful uh, spec weapon here is basically like claws. Uh, we got Blyph Saldor. Hoping these weapons become more useful soon enough because, you know, Project Rebalance, right? If you guys missed that video, I did talk about the future balances for a lot of items and yeah, and many more. So these weapons might get some love. Uh, we got the best in slot boots. Of course, uh, the Vow boots is the most recent. You guys know what these are. Range, magic, melee, best in slots. And uh, over here, we got the Soul Reaper Axe, yeah. Try to use this at a lot of places. They're all right, but mainly it's just Vardorvis. Really good there. So I did uh, 3,000 plus kills with Soul Reaper Axe there for the pets. And we did get that. And we do have another Scythe. I, I don't really use this much, though. But it is kitted. Uh, all the uh, weapons from the Revenants, they're all also upgraded as well. So we have the Web Weaver. I do use this quite a bit. Especially when I was grinding Leviathan, but uh, it was good at Nightmare as well for tagging the Sleepwalkers. Yeah, DFS, of course. Uh, good old Warhammer. Uh, here we go. We got Ancient God Sword, Banner's God Sword. And also, these are the new items here. Basically, DK's Ring Upgrades, Altar, Magus, and Belter, and Venator. So they're just stronger versions of like Berserker, Seer's Ring, um, Warrior's Ring, Archer's Ring. So yeah, really nice. I've been using this a lot. Add a bunch of different bosses and stuff. So yeah, really, really nice. All uh, right, we got the Accursed Scepter, which is the upgraded Damron Scepter here. Smoke Staff, Sang Staff. This is just the cosmetic kit from Harmon Top. And uh, yeah, the God Swords. Uh, we use the Ancient God Sword quite a bit for bossing. Vandals too. SGS, not so much anymore. Light Bear from Race 3 as well, very useful. We have the Gods for the Prayer Ring. Useful for some Slayer stuff down here not too interesting just your regular elemental staves and whatnot we have some bolts here 
Amethyst arrows, Dran arrows for Tebow. This would be for Zarya Crossbow, but don't really use it too much. Dragon darts from a blowpipe. Amethyst darts. A lot of cannonballs. Um, I think it was from Corp most recently. And something else. Something else was dropping. I don't remember, but it's nice. We are stacked back up. Void, which is the ornamented version from Leaks 3. Same with the cannon, ornamented from Leaks 3. So that's all the really, really cool stuff. And now we're just going to move on to this tab. Nothing too crazy. This is just like my food tab and like my occasional items that I use for very niche situations stuff. So yeah, like for example, Ring of Stone. I made this recently for Serachnus. If I ever do some Serachnus, it's really nice because you can put it on. It can cancel the web stuns so you can just like attack the boss right away. That kind of deal. So yeah, all these items are very niche. Almost never use them like the Armored Godsword. So I regard so pretty much never use them at the moment. Uh, but yeah, it's mostly just food. I just go on this tab for food. So the food's looking pretty good. I used a ton of Manta Rays though at Vordorvis. I had like 10,000. I actually used all 10k or something like that. Not just at that place, but like some other places too. But I, I just recently cooked like 4,000. But yeah, we still have a lot of food. So we're chilling. Uh, restocked the stamina pots recently as well. Yeah, I did use like 1,000 already when I last made some. But I restocked. And yeah, is there anything else here that might be of interest? Ring of Durance. Actually didn't end up using it too much, unfortunately. But maybe one day we can use it for uh, some other content. Took a long time to grind for that. If you guys remember from Sepulchre. About 9 mil experience. Uh, Ring of Wealth Eyes actually been really nice when I was doing a lot of clue scroll stuff. Like stacking stuff at Wilderness Slayer. Because this doubles your clue scroll rates when you're killing stuff in the wilderness. So it's really nice. And I think that's about it. I got a bunch of spare Slayer helmets uh, for Slayer. Sometimes I do like melee Slayer tasks. So if I lose this, it's not a big deal because it's just, it's just a black mask basically. Oh, actually one more thing. These uh, scepters here. This is like a tier above Master Wand basically, but right below Kodai. All right, we're on our third tab here. We're gonna... This is the tool tab basically. And we have so many runes, but... Uh, for the most part, some things have changed, especially the soul runes that has changed. I used to have like a lot more, but Shao came out. I've been using a lot more and I will be using the Shao even more than I thought. I was going to go very modest with it, but then the Scar update came out, which means I can basically buy soul runes like super fast with GP. It's like a little bit of skilling, but mostly just using GP. So I think I'm going to blast through this. I'll be fine because I can just buy more real fast. Uh, blood runes we've been chilling actually i haven't really been using the side that much it's kind of nice to see that the blood runes are just going up instead of going down for like years and years now uh but yeah every other rune is pretty chill they, they don't really change too much i guess chaos runes change a lot too because for shadow you need both chaos and soul runes and you need a lot more chaos runes so this i will have to constantly uh just buy but luckily you can buy it from the store really easily so all right, so down here is all the diary stuff, all the teleport stuff. Um, is there anything new, though? Ah, uh, you see this Dram Felon Axe? So this is from Forestry. And unfortunately, I can't really use it properly because, like, you need to make these things called rations, which isn't really worth it on iron. It's, like, too much effort. But that lets you cut the trees and, like, you get more XP out of it. But it's not a big deal. I don't really care about what kind of XP, really. We have a lot of ecumenical key shorts from Next. I've been using it a bit to do some uh, future content that you'll see. It's basically Gall Wars, of course, to skip the kill count when you go do Gall Wars bosses. So that's what I've been doing on the side. So you'll see some progress on that soon. And uh, yeah, a lot of these sacks from Wilderness Slayer. Uh, yeah, I don't really use it too much. But if I do go back to Wilderness for like Laren's Keys or something... Then yeah, these will be very useful. Especially the Ice Axe and the Vengeance Axe. And yeah, down here are also tabs from Wilderness Slayer as well. Definitely uh, recent stuff. And they're kind of useful uh, for Clue Scrolls mainly. Oh, but these Wilderness Crab Tellies are really nice. This goes like right next to Venonatus. So that's really cool. Alright, so down here. Uh, this is for the Whisper boss. That you get from after finishing the quest. This is like Forestry stuff. Padded Spoon. Trap this armor. This is for the events, for like the fox event and the peasant event, which gives you like these 
chance to give you an item that transmogs your beaver woodcutting pet. I don't have any pet for woodcutting though. So yeah, we'll quickly just show you. 90 mil woodcutting, still no woodcutting pet. I'm looking forward to it though. I've been AFKing a ton. Alright, uh, over here is just clue scroll tool stuff like, um, you know, outfits that you need to wear for certain steps. Follow steps, that kind of stuff. So not, not too much to talk about here. Very self-explanatory. Uh, but yeah, music cave for follow, of course. Elder Mall is really nice for the master step, so I actually put that here. But yeah, pretty much all of these are like clue scroll stuff. And down here is more beginner stuff. These are beginner stuff that you need to give the tramp, Charlie the tramp. All right, we're now on the trophy tab. I guess the dupe gear tab. Added some new stuff since the last time. I think I might have shown you guys this before, but it's somewhat recent. Magma Helm. I got that while uh, just getting some Zora skills, if I recall. But yeah, that's crazy. Not actually green log Zora, though. I think I still need to get the jar or reobtain it because I think I got it like pre log or something. Uh, but yeah, extra Torva that we've always had. Uh, some ancestral still. Ooh, I got that recently, actually. I should put it in my house, save the bank space. Arcane Spare Shield. I actually got this while going for the Spectral. So, this was my dupe. And I got freaking three extra shadows. I got pretty lucky with these after I got my first one, not gonna lie. But yeah, they're like still 1.4 bill each. I expected everything to drop, but the shadow, yeah, I guess it's rare enough, you know, and powerful enough. Well, it is like basically the most powerful weapon in the game, but yeah. That definitely helps keep the value. I think it's also being synced in the GE right now because they do use the tax to burn some of these now too. Uh, but yeah, extra Missouri. I dropped a bunch already though. I had way more, but yeah. Good bond money. They were going to keep going down for sure. So I uh, sold them while they were still hot. I have actually increased my prayer scrolls because I've been doing a lot of chambers recently because I've been enjoying them, uh, especially because nowadays with my gear, I can do challenge more raids. And get really good points. And uh, also filling purples. But also can get the challenge mode capes too. So I've been getting a lot of stuff from there. Alright we got the ancient blood armor kit. That's for the blood torva. You get that from the awakened DT2 bosses. Uh, we got some extra fangs. I kept a few. Always good to have a backup. Some uh, extra. I believe this is siren stab. Is for the sword drags. I have pretty much every piece for another one. Except leviathan. I don't want to go back to leviathan though. Yeah, some more uh, TOA stuff. All right, uh, we have this Dragon Fire Word. Long time ago we got this, but that was pre-lock, so it doesn't even count. I need to try to get it again one day, maybe. Lots of extra DFSs collected them all. So I guess I have seven. I've gotten seven on this character. So um, yeah, some of this is from Tob here. This is from Harmo Tob. More raid stuff. Um, this is from the Gauntlet. So I've gotten four extra weapons. Seeds enhanced, but it makes sense because I have 2600 Gauntlet KC. A lot of extra armor seeds, but yeah, pretty average though for how much I've done. Alright, some bludgeons, some nightmare staffs, some Zami Spears, some extra bandos, some extra armadillo. A lot of armadillo, just because uh, I'm like 3000 kills trying to get the pet uh, passively. Haven't gotten it yet. Yeah, some extra God War stuff, some Slayer stuff as you can see. Slayer, boss, dupes. Uh, Brian Saber, Collection Log that. Uh, Warp Scepter, this is new. This is basically in between Ibans and Trident. It works like a Trident though, so it's really flexible. It can uh, work the same way for like Soul Raids if you're like sweaty enough to use this. But yeah, it's really nice. You get this from the new Slayer monsters. Like the Warp Tortoises and stuff from Path of Glaufrey. Alright, some extra God more stuff. <laughs> I do have that dupe, Tanzite Mugen. Got it so long ago. But yeah, uh, we got some Zora stuff. Some corpse stuff here. Some extra brimstone rings from Hydra. Lots of these partisans. Uh, I've just been adding these extra gems I got from the TOA when I was going for completion. A heavy ballista. Of course, the last rev weapon I didn't show you. I actually have an extra web weaver bow, but yeah. Arson chain mace upgraded from Fergoras. So, we, yeah, we did all the wilderness bosses revamped ones for this recently. Yep, some service stuff. Some more slayer stuff. Some uncut onyxes, blood shards. I've been using them up quite a bit. So, uh, yeah, once this gets low, I, I should probably AFK some more virus. But yeah, lots of barrels. I, we completed barrels again for the green log recently. Since we did our completion the first time. Many years before collection log. But yeah, it's looking really nice. You know, we got so many dupes of everything, but it looks great. 
And here we go. We have Claws of Callisto, which is upgrade for the Vigorous Mace. I don't have an extra Vigorous, though. Same with Skull Vedion, upgrade for the, what you call it, the um, Scepter, Damron Scepter, but I don't have another one. These are super old Wilderness Shields. Haven't used them in forever because they are no longer best in slot. That's why. But yeah, lots of dragon uh, stuff, basically alkables at this point, but I haven't really out any of these in a long time. I've just been saving them because I still have so much GP, as you can see. All right, anyways, down here, what else is there? Uh, just some more Slayer uniques here. All right, we got some uh, leftover rings from DKs from Wilderness Bosses. And so much rune items, man. So, so much rune items. Like, this is um, no idea. I can just quickly show you guys, you know, just how much is in the rune equipment real fast. Like, just, just the uh, a ballpark here. So, if I just do this real quick. Damn, that's like, yeah, probably 200 million rune items alone. But down here, we have a lot of bolts. This is nice. A lot of this is from Leviathan. But yeah, this is really nice to have that much strand bolts we have 34,000 onyx bolts these and we also have 16,000 bolt tips but this is a lot of money 400 mil god damn but yeah we literally have potentially maybe like a bill or something worth of aquables man i don't know i at least rune and onyx bolts alone was like 600 mil so Anyways, down here, we have some ammunition stuff. Lots of dart tips from TOA, race 3. Ooh, dragon arrow tips. We are yeah, starting to get back up there. I've been doing Duke. I got some from Duke. Also did some gauntlet recently. Mm -hmm. You might wonder uh, what's happening with gauntlet here. But yeah, we, we got some arrow tips. So that's nice, man. I, I'm starting to basically get back what I had before I started next uh, year, a year or two ago. And yeah, we have all these drown hits. I guess they're aquables. A lot of these extra runes that I never touch anymore, so I just put them here because my tool tab is pretty packed right now. So yeah, a lot of dragonstone jewelry, uh, ring of recoils for like ring of suffering. Lots of these champion scrolls. I never completed them, all of them, all ten I think. So there's still some I can get passively, but definitely not a major um, goal right now or anything. Lots of heads. The KQ heads, Forka heads, yada yada. Oh yeah, all these big fish. Ooh, let's say thanks to that guy. All these big fish here. I did this recently, going for clue scrolls, and also filled the collection off for them. So that was nice. Uh, a lot of dark totems. So I actually want to collect like maybe a hundred of these. Do a hundred hard clues and then open it up once I get a hundred of the hard clues from Scotizo. Maybe you get the jar or something. So we'll wait. We're still far so away. And we got some rev stuff here from years ago. I never even used these up. I did use some of them, though. Uh, but yeah, that that is the leftovers here. And we have uh, some demonic grills. I w would like to fill the log slot for demonics because everything I did was pre-log, but that's low priority. All right, so down here, more wilderness stuff. These are uh, all these like looting bag stuff. The Trover parchment is nice for making certain untradeable items protectable past dirty wilderness so that's cool like inferno cape ingots from dd2 to make the new rings lots of these quartz from dd2 to add to your scepter the upgraded ancient staff that i showed you here uh right here this thing wait wait i don't know where it is this thing here so you can add it to the scepter to get different uh boosts to your ancient magic spells so this one for example extends your uh, ice holding by like basically one second if it's like a barrage for example all right anyways down here let's wrap it up so we got the soul reaper axe pieces like i said because i've been hunting for the pets uh this is actually from sepulcher i just bought it because i had all the what do you call it uh the marks to buy it just to green lock sepulcher because i totally forgot to do that but this is for the agility pet which i don't have which is why it's in the bank this is the golden peasant egg to transmog your woodcutting pet into the peasant. Fox whistle to transmog your woodcutting pet into the fox. And this is the funk shape log, which transforms the beaver color into like all the different logs that it represents. Uh, but yeah, I don't have the woodcutting pet or the pet, so this just stays in, 
in the bank until one of those happens so all right guys we're gonna go to the resource tab and i guess herbler tab as well with the seeds and i'm gonna do it a little bit different here because i want to show you guys the experience that i could be getting with all these resources i think that's probably something that a lot of people requested to know and i'm curious now at this point because i only show you guys this every year and just talk about the numbers right but then i just say i don't never use it but like at least you want to know how much xp right so there is a plugin on RuneLight that does that. It's called Banked Experience. So I'm going to be able to show you guys that. But before I do, let's just quickly, you know, browse through everything. So as you can see, a lot of dragon hides from various uh, bosses. I think mostly Vorkath, I want to say. A lot of these crystal keys, you know, whatever, from any there, anywhere, really. Uh, 23,000 battle staffs. Mm, I don't know, bosses, wyverns, you name it. A lot of these orbs, I couldn't tell you where all these orbs came from. I know Sire definitely dropped some orbs. All right. Anyways, that's crafting stuff. So I put all the crafting stuff on the top here. We got a lot of these gems. So many emeralds, sapphires, uh, rubies from various things. A lot of these came from chambers, though. I'll tell you that. Um, as for the metal bars and auras, auras for smithing. Yeah, uh... uh as for all the smithing stuff I have right here in this section, I uh, got a lot of uh, mithril bars, 50,000, 30,000 Addy, 7,000 Runite, so many ores, and I don't think I have enough coal. I think I need two times, uh, three times what I have right now to use them all up. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I ever will, but anyways, you already know that. A lot of prayer stuff, as you can see as well, uh, from bossing, of course. You know, this one is from Vorkat, strictly. Dagonauts, Dragon Bones from just various things. Or Cath Hydra, things like that. Um, now we have some construction stuff here. Wait a minute, this should go here somewhere instead. Yeah, a lot of molten glass as well for crafting. Now we're on the construction. Uh, we got a lot of planks. 35k oaks, 50k teaks, 30k mahoganies. Most of these are from chambers, I want to say. Uh, a lot of these insole heads for prayer as well. I just forgot to mention. All uh, right, we have a lot of logs. You can do a lot with them. Could uh. Get FMXP, Fletch XP, uh, you name it. A lot of flags. I can't believe I actually spawned 100,000 flags, as you can see here, evidenced by the uh, bullstrings with the freaking flax spinning spell when it came out. It's a scam, guys. Don't use it. It's pretty bad. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so we have a lot of these uh, magic longbows. This is from like 99 Fletching years ago. A lot of these dynamite saltpeter from raids. Not that useful. Spare flicks, though. This is more recent. I got this when I was going for the fishing barrow for AFK Karen Bonds and just fishing in general. Really worth it though. Such a good grind. But the snowflakes, that's uh, snowflakes. The spare flakes though, they uh, let you bank your fish. Or actually, no, you get more fish with the flakes while you fish. So that's a really nice. But I've been saving it. A lot of raw fish from various bossing, uh, I want to say. I definitely didn't fish any of these. So uh, yeah, Manta Ray's been taking a hit. I. And cooking some because i've been using manta rays a lot but yeah that's uh the sharks might use them one day i'm not sure and a lot of pearsons 4.6 million right yeah 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 that's so many pearsons can barely use it i've been like waiting for jags you know to throw a method down where you actually use these but they just don't want it i don't know why they just don't give two freaks about pearsons no more so colossal pouch from gardens of the rift really nice for runecrafting but i don't really do the normal runecraft so all right i think that's it okay now i'm going to show you guys the herbs before i show you guys the xp calculator because that's you know where the real action is going to happen here but yeah we have a lot of um herbs actually a lot of these do change especially the toe flags especially the ranars these two constantly gets used up a lot actually the toe flags i haven't been using too much brews i haven't been using too too much but prayer potions though constantly up and down but most of the other herbs though do go up actually torso also goes down because of super combats but yeah uh, every other herb though they mostly go up so i just constantly stock the combat pods and the the brews and the restores all the time and yeah scroll down here just all the different types of potions i use a lot uh they recently allowed me to make super antifires off of regular antifires so that's really nice but yeah, it's uh, very useful. Overall, stamina potion, uh, leftover doses, Zamorak 
bruise. I think this is from when I was killing Zami. This is good for Warhammer spanking a corp. That's about it, though. That's all I use it for. All right, lots of bird's nests uh, for brews. Again, I haven't been using them, so they've been stacking up. I also do some bird house runs at the moment. Ooh, hence all these random seeds that I'm getting uh, here. This is just for bird house runs down here, though. Yeah, these are like the main seeds I farm. But I don't have to do it too much, thankfully, nowadays. Lots of magic seeds, though. Holy shit, lots of spirit tree seeds. Uh, yeah, lots of palm tree seeds. That, again, I don't really farm these anymore because I got the farming pet like a year or two ago. So yeah, they've just been racking up now. Let's show you the experience tracker now. All right, we're going to have to cut some of this on the left here. Just show you everything. But all right, so let's go to construction. So as you can see, we have estimated 24 mil XP on all the planks and the bones and the logs. If I choose to convert the logs into planks. And also, I need about 100 mil, which is... Actually, I have that. So, this is definitely true. 24 mil construction experience. I can get 99 almost two more times. Alright, now we have cooking. This is uh, very true as well. 45.7 million experience. This is uh, the jug of wines. I mean, actually getting jugs of water is really easy. So, theoretically, it's pretty safe. This number is pretty accurate. 45 million cooking experience. From all the fish and the wines of course and we move on to crafting this one's a little tricky here because i need a lot of secondaries to actually use like these cut gems and to use these battle staffs so i want to say i want to say if i ignore uh this and then i ignore these oh wow yeah i didn't even know this feature was there i was just you know hoping but yeah if i ignore all these we're still talking 27 million crafting experience. That's 299 craftings we got banked. All right. As for farming, though, this one actually isn't that much. Six mil. Unfortunately, I uh, thought this would be more, but it's only six mil farming. But that's okay. You know, that's okay. I'm already at like 50 mil farming. So it's not like I didn't use a lot of seeds. If I, Yeah, I did use a lot of seeds before. So that's why I guess it's not that crazy. No more. All right, fire making, it's a troll. Like, who, who's going to burn normal logs now, right? You can just do Winter Todd, right? Because, like, none of them are AFK. Well, actually, I could do the AFK bonfire. But that's, like, half the experience. So, it says I have 200 mil bank, though. What the frick? But, yeah, if I do bonfire, it would be, like, 100 mil. But, yeah, that's uh, that's actually insane. That is actually insane. But it would compete with fletching, though, if I do fire making with it, so... All right, we got fletching here. Uh, this one's a little bit misleading. It says 120 mil banked. But again, a lot of these I, I would need like secondaries for, right? Like the freaking limbs to use these logs. So I don't know. A lot, a lot of this is just really wrong. Uh, if I divide this by at least uh, or reduce it to 25%, then we're talking about like 40 mil. Or something like that. Actually, 30 mil. 30 mil fletching speed. Let's just say 30 mil. I think that's probably a more realistic one. But yeah, that's a rough guess. All right, Herbler is um, also tricky, right? Because I need a ton of secondaries to actually use all these herbs. But it says 20 mil, though. If I manage to pull this off, which I wouldn't. But safe to say, we can probably cut this in half. Because uh, some of these secondaries, though, are passive. I can just get it while I just do my normal stuff. So let's say 10 mil. So Herbler, not that crazy. It's just hard, you know? On Iron Man, Herbler is still like the hardest skill, easily. Uh, Hunter's control, so we move on to Prayer. All right, so this one, we would be using the Wilderness Altar. So we have 26 mil Prayer. This is very uh, true, very accurate. No problem. Um, so that's 26 mil. That's 299 Prayers, basically, on the dot. Really cool. All right, Smithing here. A bit misleading, once again, because I need 2.3 million coal to use up all this. So, uh, I guess it's good to basically divide this by three because I have a third of the coal. So, 62 million, let's say 20 million. 20 million Smith XP for sure. Immediate XP. So, that's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, thieving, of course. Like, what? You know, there's nothing here. All right. So, that's that. Let's move on to the next part. So, there's not too much more interesting stuff to show here. This is just all the random uh stackable clue score rewards i often get and then the imp links to go with it because 
yeah, I'm mostly doing imp links for clues, right? If I were to go there. Uh, Purple Sweets, though. I've been using a bit of challenge more rates, so it's been going down a bit, but, like, I bounced it really well, so we'll never run out the way I use it. I'm still waiting for Jags to give us, like, a god page folder, because that'd be sick. Imagine one item you can get as, like, a reward, a rare reward, maybe, from clues, and you can put all the god pages in there. Or same with, like, the fire layers. That'd be sick. There is the GE sets for the pages, but that's not really going to solve the problem. I'm going to keep getting these pages, and it's going to still, you know fill up the bank for the most part so that wouldn't really solve it i know some people said that but yeah it's not it and here is like i guess my skilling stuff that i uh often use you know sometimes i do some runecraft with the blood essence for blood runes sometimes i go you know camp on fishing uh sometimes i go angler fishing so we have our spare angler outfit runecrafting outfit for those reasons sometimes i gotta make some potions and you know i don't want to make potions in in this tab it's too much stuff so i, I put it here uh just to you know make it easier for me see this here shh, i did get the gauntlet pet right before leaks but don't tell nobody okay if you made it this far zip it you know because next prize video is going to be all about the gauntlet grind so yeah look out for that <laughs> uh but over here though this is like kind of like another trophy tab kind of deal but mostly currency stuff mostly like stackable resources so yeah like awakeners orbs and hill shards ancient shards ancient essence um this is pretty like not non-use right now maybe for combat achievements whenever they add the new dt2 bosses combat achievements which doesn't seem like they care right now you know they got bigger things to work on like follow more lots of coins 244 mil i do have a super crazy uh prize video i want to do with that like i probably like blow through like 200 mil or something on soul runes at the um what do you call it the scar update right i want to try that out so look forward to that in the future because i do want to use the shadow a lot more than i am even now uh we have lots of nuggets from mother load i usually buy these for like soft clay just because it's fast and there's really nothing else for me to buy Zora scales looking oh kind of low but i do have a lot of uh zora uh items i can dismantle though so we're, we're chilling we're chilling uh brimstone keys oh my god 94 i've been doing a lot of corner slayer so I'm, I'm stacking i don't know how much i want to stack before i open but more than this maybe 200 right because i did 100 before and it was disappointing maybe 200 uh grubby keys from occasional rightness very rare giants keys from hill giants i still need to get the Obers club to green lock that so that'd be sick all marks crystal shards lots of crystal shards from corrupted gauntlet right looking for the pet all right and yeah we're slowly stacking up some bird eggs right i want to open it again and uh, we got 81 master clues i'm trying to get 100 this will be my biggest master clue opening once i hit 100 so look forward to that another prize video idea in the future and yeah we'll be definitely just mixing up like the stack projects i'm loving it they're really fun to do and a lot of you guys seem to love it so i'll keep doing more now that you've seen everything in the bank it's time to show you guys the bank value i know you guys are absolutely obsessed with the bank value i only ever turn it on when i do this bank video so are you guys ready now remember i've dropped billions and billions worth of stuff over the years for uh sustaining bonds and things like that but yeah despite that all it grows it grows i i try to be calculated with what i drop but here we go yep it is 31.1 bill and to be fair honestly just the shadows alone right like just having four shadows is um basically six bill so if i delete a six bill then we're at 25 bill right <laughs> but yeah it's just it's just i uh, got quite lucky you know this last year with all these billion plus uh gp value stuff but again it's iron man it's not that it means a whole lot but yeah now you guys know what's up let's uh let's just quickly just show you guys you know some of the stuff here on this uh, mr iron bar profile tab so experience wise 1.4 bill almost almost so that's pretty insane i did do a, a video recapping the armbar progress up to 1.2 bill where i highlight where i got all my xp the major stuff so that was a cool video um yeah all right common achievements you know we're up to date on that of course uh i think the latest ones that got added were i want to say yeah toa race three ones yeah we did that so yeah if you guys want to see that i did a whole video where i did all of those raids three tasks in one go i guess i'll put that on the top too why not 
So yeah, that's for basically good old Zuckhelm, right? And uh, combat achievement rewards. Uh, here we go. So everything down here. Lots of cool stuff. All right. So collection log. It's gone up. It's looking more respectable now. Because we have been uh, just working on refilling some stuff. As you can see, look at barrels, right? Oof. Fully cleaned up, right? Just, just filling some stuff that I had gotten but wasn't recorded. So barrels was probably like the big one. Uh, rates, I'm slowly working on it as you can see. Right, I got all my theater blood purples back. Chambers, you know, still work in progress. You'll see a prize rate on that once I start getting more of these bigger items again. Uh, clue scrolls, we made some decent effort on the clue scrolls. Uh, beginners, see, mostly filled. Uh, easies. <laughs> oh man, we have a long ways to go. But yeah, we are going to do some stacking projects for these. So look forward to it. Mediums, you know. But yeah, we got we got like 100, 200 slots back from like Clue Scrolls, which is really, really nice. So yeah, we're going to work on easies, hards, beginners a lot more. Uh, I guess maybe even a bit of elites once I do my 100 masters. Because right now, all these like lower tier clues, I'm using it to make masters. So, And you will hopefully see a third agent in one of these collection lock slots one day. We got some gilded. So that's cool. But yeah, everything else, the shared stuff's filled, been filled forever. Uh, minigame stuff. Um, I actually want to do a product video on that, where I work on some of the minigames. I already started uh, some, like, for example, Hall Sepulchre. I finished that recently. Spoiler. And um, I was doing a little bit of Volcanic Mine, but I just couldn't get this pickaxe. So yeah, I want to show you guys that too. And I want to try out some other stuff. Like, maybe I'll finish this one. Because not uh, actually, I don't know about that. Pretty of course, not sure about that. But like this pest control, I, I can finish that. So yeah, you'll see some collection lock stuff done on, on here on that end. And also for others though, yeah, I got a lot of free slots from the other section. Like for example, forestry, I fill all of that. You'll see that. I think I want to make a process video with this when I get the beaver pet. So you'll see all of that one day. Like these is free. 10, 10 slots just from fossil notes, Kim Duzo. I did all of that. I did a prize video doing all of those. So, yeah, you get the idea. So, we're working on these uh, more in the future. Collection log-wise, uh, there is all the pets, right? So, all pets. We have 34 out of 56. And I wouldn't say I want to go for all of them, but, like, I, I will at least like to go for all the PVM ones. So, there's still a lot of PVM ones we can get. I've been working on this here. I've been trying to work on this again now that we have free time. After leagues, Hydra, like uh, Armadale, be sick to complete all of God Wars. I'm working on this now, Baron. After Butch, and yeah, we'd like to work on all the PVM ones. And if I'm really feeling adventurous, maybe I'll do like some mini game ones too. But yeah, as for now, 34 out of 56, pretty sick. We're over half to all the pets, so that's really cool. And I guess I can show you guys too. I can show you guys the pets. Just uh, yeah running around my house i've renovated my house a little bit here guys so i decided to put the pet section on a open corner so that way you know they can just roam free it has pixels whatever but you know i gotta be more humane but yeah we pimped our house a little bit added the uh, onyx theme used like what is it eight onyx i just learned this though you can actually cook <laughs> on this volcanic vents on these craters my uh ultimate iron man friend bond i was watching his stream I was able to do that so that's sick but yeah, um, in terms of layouts, if you guys want to copy my, you totally can. It's pretty efficient, I would say. You got fair ring right next to the portal, uh, orientated so that the pool's right there, of course. A nexus next to the portal, uh, cult altar next to the portal with a jewelry box too, and uh, I also have some lecterns because I gotta make some like teleport taps. No, not teleport taps. Like most of peaches sometimes. Uh, yeah. So we got like the workbench area, the altar. I still keep it. I never use it though. Uh, this is the max dummy room pretty nice these two rooms i just have to have it right just so i can like have my butler and stuff but yeah this layout is really efficient there's no basement there's no second floor and what happens is that this offers minimum loading time so look look at this i'll show you my viewer here so look at my layout right it's perfect it's four by four three by three works but if you do maximum four by four you have minimum loading tiles so this way, the game loads your house as soon as you teleport in, like, as fast as possible. Alright, guys. So, I think that's it for the bank video. If there's anything else you want to see in a future bank video, because I'm doing these basically yearly, 
let me know in the comments but i think i have innovated a bit you know from my last bank video and actually uh show some better insight so hopefully you guys found it really interesting if you did hit me up with that like but yeah we got some really cool prize videos on iron bar coming up uh in the future uh 2024 we got volumor lots of new bossing content coming out with the coliseum and the perilous moon mid-level boss update so if you guys want to see some of that stuff hit that subscribe button because we will be covering that on this account of course so yeah lots of cool stuff to cover so hopefully next year's bank video will be even more interesting thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in 2024